Hello everyone, this is Jonah from the Department of Management, uh, Ratnam College of uh, Arts and Science. So today I'll be taking about uh, business ethics and uh, we'll talk about uh, personal ethics. So what is personal ethics? Personal ethics is uh, regarding our personal values, what is right and what is wrong. So let's look into the slide. Uh, this is usually distinguished from business ethics or even le legal ethics. Personal ethics are principles and values that govern in interactions among individuals. So we have to see how we are conducting ourselves uh, during work or even anything, wherever we are. So how do we differentiate personal ethics from prof professional ethics? So uh, let me give an example. Uh, so we, we are going uh, to a park or we are going to our workplace. So then we find a purse uh, on the ground. So uh, what we do is uh, we return it back to them if, if there's any ID card inside the purse or else we give it somewhere to the grocery store. So uh, that is what we learn. So this is uh, personal, eth personal ethics because we know what is honesty. We are taught uh, from school and from our parents. What we know is we have to return the purse to the person who, are, who, has, uh, who has lost it. So in the professional ethics side, we can see that uh, in professional ethics, if, if it's in the office space, we see that if the purse is in the, uh, in the ground or somewhere, we return to a co-worker or we return to the manager because uh, this is the code of conduct we are supposed to conduct it during uh, the, in the workplace. We'll see into the next slide. So what influences personal ethics? School, media, peers, religion, family and friends. In school, we are taught by our teachers uh, not to say lies. We are not supposed to, uh, we know, uh, they teach us what is right and what is wrong. So in media, uh, what, uh, what ethics we follow is not to spread false news. And by our peers, and it's good not to spread gossip because gossip spoils uh, the environment, the relationship and uh, between the co-workers, co -worker, sorry. Uh, and religion. The religion teaches us what is good and what is bad. So in religion, uh, we have different types of religion which teaches us same things where uh, from, uh, from Muslim to Christianity to Hinduism and any other religion. And in family, in family uh, we are uh, taught from, we are taught from, uh, from our childhood to follow what is good and what is bad. And from our friends, we know what is really good for us. And uh, according to uh, the behavior, we can uh, mold ourselves. Next slide. So why personal ethics are important? Allow leader to make more effectively lead their teams, instill a sense of trust and support in leaders, give individuals a solid basic of which to determine the most appropriate action in any given situation, to improve decision-making process, get a standard of behavior, support motivation. In personal ethics, we are uh, following all these because personal ethics is very important in workplace or wherever we are. We are supposed to follow certain rules and certain regulations to conduct ourselves. So examples of personal ethics, honesty, loyalty, integrity and respect and responsibility. Uh, in honesty, we see that uh, we are supposed to be honest wherever we are. We are supposed to uh, listen to others and we have to uh, be honest to what they are saying. In loyalty, we should be loyal. We should be loyal to our co-worker or a manager. We are supposed to get the work in time and complete the work. And respect. Respect, uh, we are supposed to respect our co-worker or uh, respect according to the age or according to uh, the status where they are in. And responsibility, we are supposed to be responsible. We, sh we should res uh, hold responsible and accountability for who we are and uh, the, respons the, uh, the work that is given to us. And uh, emotional honesty. Emotional honesty means being able to express your emotions and feelings to other person. It requires awareness of what you, your true feelings are and uh, what others' true feelings are as well. So in emotional, uh, emotional honesty, we see that we're supposed to be true to ourselves in order to be uh, happy and uh, have a safe environment. We are supposed to be honest to ourselves. And uh, if we are emotionally honest with ourselves, we know uh, our true selves better, which can lead to greater self-acceptance. Being emotionally honest is uh, not always easy. It can be particularly challenging for people who lack the capacity to self-respect. Such people often end up unhappy and negative feelings can manifest 
in uh, anger, depression, and similar emotions. So being uh, honest to ourselves, that is emotional honesty, is not that easy. So in the next scenario, we can see that uh, don't be three monkeys. Uh, open your eyes to justice, speak for truth, and listen, to, and listen up to the whistleblowers. So by now, uh, we'll end up the session. Uh, thank you, everyone.